So what we want to do is, in fact, SQL might not be an issue in this case, because what we might want to do is we might want to check whether this UH either equals U or equals H before we perform this query. So we've grabbed the value UH. What we can do now here is above the query, we can check if UH, the variable, is equal to either a small U, which will it will automatically be small because of the STR to lower, or will it be an H? So we can say if UH is equal to a U, or UH is equal to an H, then um, we can run we can run all of this code here so down to there and now let's indent everything again so we can view it properly so if the submitted variable which is here is equal to a u or an h perform the query um, let's just test by putting in else must be u or H. Um, so let's refresh to here. So if we would select healthy, um, right, okay. Um, all right, okay, yeah. So we're, we're, we're performing this static. So that basically means that we, it's worked. Um, we're not selecting this data just yet because we haven't input it into the query. But just imagine that this is a confirmation just to say yes, that it's worked. Um, if we click healthy again, we still receive this uh, message. However, if we were to modify this up here to say A must be U or H, or in fact something that might be um, uh, classed as a some you know some kind of um, an SQL injection, uh, we are supplying this error message. But what we can do for now is take out this error message because we don't really want to give away too much how our program works. So let's go back up and now we need to do something about this query because at the moment it's selecting this ice cream uh, row and this is useless because we're allowing the user to input um, a value but we're selecting a query based on our static um, preset um, conditions here. So now what we want to say is we're going to get rid of this and calories here we want to say where healthy unhealthy equals a certain value. So this value is going to be uh, UH because remember the user is submitting here a value which is put into UH. We're making sure it equals U or H. Then we're performing a query, but this time instead of putting U or H in ourselves, we're supplying the value of this variable. So now if the user was to click on healthy, the value of the um, of this UH here submitted will be uh, H. It will go back into PHP. We're doing the relevant checks here. We're grabbing the variable here, converting it to lowercase, checking if it's equal to U or H, and then putting it into the query. So not only have we allowed the user to input their own value, we've thought about the structure of our program in the fact we need to check this before it's set. We need to then set it into a variable, then we need to check, then we put it into the query, and follow on by producing a list of all food which is either healthy or unhealthy. So now what we've done is we've created a dynamic query. So let's go back to index.php and see if this works. So we want to choose a food type. We'll choose unhealthy first of all and click submit. You can see that we've now produced a list. Ice cream has 700 calories, pizza has 1000 calories. So they're the two unhealthy values inside our database. So we've got uh, U and U, which is pizza and ice cream. What we can then do is select healthy, click submit. This value up here changes, therefore the, the query changes and we've selected the um, healthy food in our database. So this is how we can combine user input and it could be text based input, it can be um, like drop down list input like we've done the select input, um, it could be absolutely anything. You could even press a button just to grab some values. Um, it's all about combining what knowledge you have of the post and the get variables and then inserting the data that's been submitted into a query. Now like I mentioned before this can be dangerous. We can have something happen called SQL injection and that's when the value that's put into the database 
might equal um, might come through as um, um, another part of a query. For example, if this uh value was equal to um, let's just go up here was equal to um, a semicolon. Uh, sorry, a uh, a single quotation mark. Um, or, and this is the this this what I'm typing is the value of uh. Or nothing equals nothing. Okay, so that's say that's what the user typed into a text area box. That would then be substituted into here. Uh, sorry, without that extra one. And you can see how just by inputting this data into there, which would not usually be there. So a user types this here into a text box and puts it into here. We've automatically changed the query. Nothing does equal nothing, so this query will always evaluate to true. And this is just a, an example. However, it can be dangerous. So you need to think about the checks that you do before you perform a query in a program. That's very important. When you're practicing, not so much, but I can, I can, you know, I'll warn you now that this is a good practice to get into, making sure that people can't inject their own SQL into your query, hence the name SQL injection. But this has been a quick tutorial, or a longer tutorial, on uh, how to allow user input to create your query um, more dynamically.